Nice having you again, my friends. In this video, we're going to be looking at the solution to question 2B on the January 2013 uh, math pass paper. Here we have in part one here, my friends, they, they gave us, well, the instruction states to factorize completely. In part one, they gave us 25 m squared minus one, and they're asking us to factorize that. Now, this is a, a special type of factorization. It's called a difference of two squares. And what do I mean by a difference of two squares? I'm si I simply mean, if you notice, we have two terms here. The first term is 25 m squared, and the second term is one over here minus 1 okay now if you notice 25 is a square term okay because you have to multiply 5 times 5 which is equal to 25 okay and if you notice again m squared is an is a square term also because you have to multiply m times m to get m squared okay likewise the one over here to get one you would have to say one times one is equal to one so that's what we mean by a difference of two squared everything here at the front is a square term the first term there are two terms and the first term is a square term and the second term is also a square term okay I uh, just wanted to assure you of that all right no when factorizing a difference of two squares, it's very easy. It's as if you're taking the square root of both terms, okay? So basically, it's, it's as if I'm saying the square root of 25 is 5, okay, my friends? As we had identified there is 5, and you're doing the same thing with the letter here. You're saying the square root of m squared, of m squared is m, okay? In the, in, here, you're going to put a minus sign, and you're going to ask yourself the same thing. The square root of 1 is 1, okay? So there we have that. If you notice, I have a 5m minus 1. So I put that in a bracket. And in the other bracket, I am going to write, rewrite the same thing, okay? Which is 5m. And I'm going to put my 1 there. But the only difference is that in this bracket, I am going to put a plus sign, okay, my friends? And that's your answer. It's as easy as that, okay? So whenever you have a difference of two square, you just take the square root of the first term minus the square root of the second term you repeat that in the bracket but you must remember to change the sign in one bracket you have a minus in the other you have a plus all right let's quickly move on let me just split the screen here now my friends in part two they gave us 2n squared minus 3n minus 20 Okay, and they, they're asking us to factorize also. That's another easy two marks. Now, this is what you call a quadratic expression. So we're going to have to use the AC method to do some quadratic factorization, okay? Now, uh, if you remember, and you can always check out my videos on quadratic fac factorization, and you'll get a better intuition if you're not sure after we're through. Okay, my friends? Now, quickly, if you notice, um, the general form of a quadratic expression is AX squared ax ax squared plus bx plus c okay now to factorize this expression we're going to use the ac method which is we're simply multiplying a times multiplied by c okay now if you notice by intuition my friends a is the term exactly in front of the x squared okay so in this case a would be 2 by comparison okay so my a is 2 and i'm multiplying that by my c which is the constant out there in this case it's negative 20 okay so that's minus 20. now when i multiply 2 times negative 20 i'll get a negative 40 okay so the product is negative 40. now i need to find factors of my product okay my friends that when I add them, I should get the middle term, which is my negative 3, my B there, okay? The B here. I must get a negative 3. Now, um, by listing factors of 40, we know that 1 times 40 um, is 42 times 20 is 40. We have a 3 times, sorry, my bad. Oops, let's just get rid of that. Uh, let's just clear that not three times but we have uh, four times let's just change this a bit we have 
4 times 10, that will give us a 40. We have then 5 times 8, that will give us a 40, okay? So basically, we, ha we have listed some factors of 40. Now, we are going to have to choose the best option, okay? We are going to have to choose two numbers. When we multiply them, we get a we get a negative 40, but when we add them, we get a negative 3. Now, if you notice, um, any of these numbers, when we multiply them, will give us 40, okay? But not all, when we add them, will give us a, neg will give us a negative 3. Now, if you notice, five min 8 minus 5, rather, we are getting a 3, okay? Now, a very important trick to make note of is that look at the sign in front of b it's a negative sign okay so that means obviously we need a if we need a negative 40 it simply means we're going to have to change the sign on one of our factors okay because a positive times a negative will give us a negative here we only have negative numbers so any um any sign that is here in front of b i am going to change that on the larger factor okay so there i have a negative eight with a positive five okay so this will be my factors of choice so all i'm going to do my friends is to rewrite 2n squared minus and i'm going to use my factors to replace uh, my negative three eight n plus five n minus the 20. Notice um, I haven't changed the, neg the value of negative 3n because if you should note negative 8 plus a 5 that will still give me a negative 3. Okay it's very important to note. Now let us just now factorize by grouping what is common to these two terms. I have a 2 and an n here. I have an 8 and an n. So 2 can go into 2 and 8. So I'm going to take out a 2 and n is common to both. So I'm going to use n. Okay. 2 into 2, 2 will cancel 2, n into n square, n, is, n will cancel one of the n, leaving us with an n there, okay? 2 into negative 8, that will go leave us with a negative 4, and n will cancel n, so I'm going to close my bracket there, okay? Now, if you notice over here, guys, um, what is common to 5n and 20? That's a 5, but we have to put back the sign that's there, which is a plus sign. So I'm going to take out my 5, open bracket, 5 into 5n, um, 5 will cancel 5, leaving us with an n, and 5 into negative 20, positive 5, that is, into negative 20, will leave me with a negative 4, Okay, now if you notice when you reach here, my friends, um, inside the brackets, by comparison, you must have the same thing. If you don't have the same thing inside the brackets, simply means then that you had made a mistake earlier. Okay, so having the same thing in the bracket, what I'm going to do is just to rewrite what's inside one of my bracket. Okay, as simple as that. And then I am going to combine what's on the outside, which is my 2n plus 5 okay and that is my answer it's basically as easy as that feel free to leave a comment or ask a question like us on facebook or follow us on twitter